Although Arnold Bachlin's painting, Island of the Dead, may now reside in the shadows of art history for many people, its legacy once illuminated the European art scene with unparalleled brilliance. This transformation from widespread fame to almost complete obscurity over time invites a deeper exploration into the painting's historical significance. Commissioned by Marie Berna, a devoted patron of Arnold Buckland, the painting emerged from a poignant request to simply transform a partially finished canvas into a memorial for her late husband. The resulting masterpiece portrays a haunting island shrouded in mystery with cypress trees casting long shadows over a stone seawall and intricately carved entryways. A solitary boat approaches, guided by a figure reminiscent of Sharon, the ferryman of Greek mythology, transporting souls across the river Styx to Hades. Berna's influence extended to the addition of a shrouded figure, further enriching the painting's symbolism and depth. This haunting portrayal seemed to resonate deeply with Bachlin, leading him to retain the initial version intended for another patron, Alexander Gunther. As Bachlin revisited the theme, subsequent versions emerged with distinct variations, culminating in Adolf Hitler's acquisition of the 1883 rendition commissioned by Fritz Gerlitt. Tragically, the fourth iteration of the painting fell victim to the ravages of World War II, its legacy preserved only through a monochromatic photograph. Yet the painting's resilience endured, with the subsequent versions finding homes in esteemed institutions like the Museum of Fine Arts in Leipzig, and the State Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. Beyond the realm of visual art, Isle of the Dead transcended its canvas to inspire a myriad of creative endeavors. The film adaptation in 1945 featuring Boris Korloff and H.R. Geiger's homage in 1977 underscored the painting's enduring influence across generations and mediums. Amidst the shadows cast by Isle of the Dead, Bachlin's Island of Life emerged as a luminous counterpart, offering a stark contrast to its renowned Isle of the Dead. Island of Life was completed in 1888, and it's a single masterpiece. It bursts with vitality, portraying a vibrant landscape, teeming with life and color and celebration. It's currently housed at the Kunstmuseum Basel. This painting stands as a testament to Bachlin's versatility and artistic evolution, juxtaposing the introspective solitude of Isle of the Dead with a jubilant celebration through Isle of Life. Collectively, these paintings encapsulate the multifaceted genius of Arnold Bachlin. It invites you, the viewer, to embark on a profound journey through the realms of life and death and the enduring power of artistic expression. These are interesting things with J.C.